Peter is in a lot of pain. He's always in pain because he went against those at the top of the streets, the unseen business. And they are using him as an example, a very painful example. What are the streets? Call 424-229-0911. You're not reaching me by phone, mail, or internet. And that blatant censorship not being news. That's the streets. That's the unseen business. Anyway, this particular Peter was one of many Peters. He is one of many Peters who look alike. And they were involved in writing a book of faith. A book of truth. And while many of these Peters were doing the right thing, doing what they were supposed to do. This Peter, this bad Peter and others like him, other Peters, were adding words, were taking words out, doing the wrong thing with this book of faith. Remember, book of truth should have all truth in it, even about the unseen business. Meaning all those folks who look alike and what they do. If you want to find out about that, come see me in person, watch those around me. I'm John Milton Bray. Anyway, Peter is learning what the streets can do as far as cause pain. Before he made this mistake, he could not imagine the headaches, the toothaches, the backaches, and countless other pains. He could not imagine that. He is learning a very valuable and very long lesson. See, right now, Peter is seeing what I see. I used to have to wear very thick glasses. And now more and more often I go completely without them. And I see the world much more clearly. And my eyes are also changing appearance, changing color. New pair, regrowing right where the old pair is. And that's what Peter is finding out about. He's watched this happen many times before. His hair, silver now, will regain the color of youth. His wrinkles on his face will iron out. But Peter's a torso. The mean folks have made that so. If the limbs regrow. Peter's limbs regrow. They will be trimmed back. The fingers, the hands, the arms. That's the mean streets, the top of the streets. Anyway, the son of a carpenter, Mary, has come to visit Peter. This particular Peter. And he does what he can to lift his spirits, but he never can. And when the visit is over, and he goes to leave. Peter calls after him. Master, forgive me. And the son of the carpenter and Mary says, Peter, you know I already have forgiven you a couple thousand years ago. But I can't help you with this yet. There are those today still being led astray by what you have done.